Hey, what's going on? I'm sorry, man. My bad, Shane. Jump in. I make it rain. Oh, three. Welcome to the show, girl. You in for a treat today. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm going to sit down. I ain't got to yell at me. Uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I know. K job 1229. What up, though? Get these headphones on, Breezy JJ's. I see you, you know I'm drinking too. Stop playing. If you got one, put it in the air. Cheers. Oh, wait, let me go ahead and uh, I guess I gotta uh, go live with Shang. Cheers, y'all. Yeah. Hey, Bronze Production, I'm down. All right, I'm, I'm sitting down. There we go. All right, Terry Clark 217 was good. Waiting to connect with Shang here. Salute to pretty on the left and the right as well. Miss Q to you. <laughs> Don't call her nothing else, all right? That's right. What's up, babe? Good to see you. Uh, waiting for comedian Shang. Uh, we are Savage AF, by the way. That's what it is uh, here on IG Live. Monday through. I know I said it's, it's I, I requested you, Shang. I see you on here. And then at the bottom, it's got waiting for comedian Shang, dot, dot, dot. What up, though, see, but 313. But uh, we are here on IG Live Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, 3 p.m. Tuesday through Thursday, 6 p.m. These are Pacific Standard Times. Um, if you miss us here, you can catch us. Oh, let me get to pinning. Uh, Shang's unable to join. Let me try and re-request. Go live with Shang. We're going to try it again. All right, I, I request it again, Shang. So uh, holler back if you see it. Um, but if you miss us live, uh, it says, hey, what's up? bam, bam, see, Love it works. Technology. It works. Um, I've been, I've been, uh, purposely, I'm making sure that when we do the show, I purposely, um, have went through and blocked it about 30 numbers because it's all spam calls. It's political calls, some for Trump, some for Biden. Yeah. Like, yeah. And people saying, are you going to vote? Um, worry about prop 22. And I mean, that's. I kept getting so many from today. So, yeah, it's, it was, it's been a trip. Yeah. Um, right. But aside from that, uh, yeah, some other stuff we will deal with um, in the, the upcoming evening. And we will and make sure to today's get session. in today's session and also make sure Savage AF, you know what I'm saying? We bring it to you like we do. We bring it to you for the people. This is for the people. Even though y'all, a lot of y'all watching the Dodgers play, and I could give zero fucks about the Dodgers because the Dodgers would be as a fuck, but I don't watch football or okay, baseball. Listen, you listen to this. Watch the Dodgers, right? Like, you can hear us. Just look at the ball. Yes. Hit the bat. Because the Dodgers are playing tonight. And then what does somebody say? Uh, let me... Let me scroll this up like you said. Just why won't it do it? Why won't it fucking? Because I can't see the, the feed. You can't you know what you're saying right now. Well, people are saying, what's up, Miss uh, Q to you? Is, uh, and by the way, Miss Q to you, it's Shang with a G. S H A N G, like uh, Shanghai. Yeah, there it is. I got it now. Shang a dang. Uh, yeah, the yeah. little arrow wasn't working, but the phone is working because I've been making calls and getting stuff done. So, um, yo, make sure that you guys, he's going to pin this on there. I'm going to let you know where you can check us out. Make sure you check us out um, on the podcast version of the show, which is on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify. Uh, I'm going to let him say the other one because he says it better than me. The, the last one is... Uh, yeah. Well, you, go you, ahead. Said, you, you said Spotify. You said Spotify already. So I'm gonna go ahead and do no. this. I'm gonna go ahead and do SoundCloud. Yes, there you go. There you go. So says so Sound SoundCloud. Okay, right, well yeah, and the, who said the disrespect? Nobody's dis okay. Well let's just focus on it, uh, focus on that. Um also you can check us out on the YouTube channel, which he will pin on there, which you can go to um YouTube and put Type in Savage AF Podcast. Savage AF Podcast. Make sure that you subscribe, 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 subscribe. And tell your friends, friends, friends to subscribe because, you know, we, we got to build up the following on that. We're going to be putting up different footage and different stuff. Pedro Poppins is going to be on there. It's going to be a lot of cool shit. And we appreciate y'all for even supporting us at all. Even And we're not trying to be, like, sensitive and all, you know, cutie cuddly. But, really, we do appreciate, appreciate, we appreciate y'all motherfuckers. We love the fact that you love the 
fact that we love the fact that you love. You understand? That's what I'm yeah. trying to say. Listen to my voice change. You hear how my voice changed? God damn it. We want you to know that we care in a way that we don't care. Because actually the saying is hashtag fuck your feelings. What about these facts? That's what we change it to. Facts. Son. That's a new thing. Instead of just fuck your feelings, it's fuck your, fuck feelings. your feelings. What about these? And it's these. D-E-E-Z facts. Boom. Love it right there for you guys. And as you see, if you're watching here on IG, uh, we do have a pin there for you. Uh, YouTube is Savage AF Podcast. And then you want to go to imshang.com slash merch for that Savage AF gear. T-shirts, yeah. masks, uh, computer. Yeah, that's that's how we're going to get it, y'all. That shit. So, all that shit. That, all that shit right there. That and, being um, said, man. Speaking yeah. of all that shit, man, let's get into the show, bro. <laughs> You said, oh, speaking of all that shit, and there's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit going there's on. Right, and there, there's shit that's not even on the list that, that that's coming up. Like, you got Nancy Pelosi and Mnuchin trying to work together on a deal. And now um, Mitch McConnell, bitch McConnell, sorry, uh, behind the scenes is like, oh, don't make Blocked a deal. It. He's telling the White House, don't make a deal because it's going to create a divide within the Senate Republican caucus or whatever. Right. And I'm, I'm like, and bro, y'all, y'all, y'all playing so many games. Trump don't they, walk. Yeah. Them. And they also, did you check this? Did you also know that he wanted to change the amount because he felt like he could hold that over the head of the American public to make sure that after the election, if they win, they could give the other amount so by splitting the amount up. He's like, here's a little bit and we'll give you the rest if you vote for us. And it's obvious he's doing that. He's obviously, that's happening with a lot of black celebrities and a lot of people coming out, you know, supporting Trump. 50 Cent, 50, 50 Cent, 50 Cent said he's going to vote for Trump because of taxes. Like the motherfuckers, even if he did get hit with that, a higher taxes, he's still in the multi-gazillionaire fucking, uh, you know, level. So I don't understand 50 Cent. And when I see that nigga, uh, I'm just going to wave because I ain't really trying to get that smoke from him. Yeah, he's huge. That. Yeah, that motherfucker, he, he can go. Keep it in uh, I, will, I will not talk shit about him or Ice Cube. I talk shit about Ice Cube on Twitter. And when I say motherfuckers game, I didn't even talk shit. I just said maybe he needs to get in the lab and learn a little bit more before he says the, some of the things he's saying because he got roasted. He got roasted by fucking Roland Martin. He got roasted by a couple of people online I'm on some of these talk shows. They asked him a basic question, and he couldn't answer the shit. So, Cube, I, I love what you're doing for black folks, and your fact you want us to be come up, but get the people that are knowledgeable. Join with the other forces that have been doing this shit way before you. It's not a diss of Cube. But get the other people that are more knowledgeable, and all of y'all join together. Use your platform and blow that shit up. Like we're more Black Lives now. Matter. All the all the platforms. Get them all together so we're a collective, cohesive, and we collectivize. Collectivize. Collectivize, and then we can make right. shit happen, baby. And everything we will run everything. And you know what? Black Pedro will run it for us because he is our, our senator of arms. Because Lathiathan is coming in soon, baby. Levi, Levi will be here. Yeah, Levi be here. gonna be here in a minute, motherfuckers. So. Yes, I see all y'all out there. Kane, Garlene, yeah, uh, Lauren, and Baker, Donnie. What's up, twin? Uh, yeah, Nat from NYC, TK575. What's going on, y'all? This is oh, wait a minute. We got a uh, shout out to Eve underscore um, oh, 79. Eve underscore Apples. She's in the building. What's going on? She's Continue in the building. The yes, yep. y'all. Cheers to everybody out there. That's what it is. <laughs> I got a beer and a shot. It's a October, beer and a shot. October 2020. So 10 2020. It's October 20th, 2020. Whole lot of 20 today. It's 20 twin, 2020. 20 twin, twin. So, uh, <laughs> that being said, let's, let's get off into the show today, man. You know, AJ Fitz said, uh, 50 Cent ain't got no eyebrows anyway. Yeah. yeah I do wonder how, how does he express himself? You can't really see what the fuck. What are you thinking? Don't know. That's why the, the nigga's kind of scary. Um, like, but I have, I've been around like him once. He's like, yeah, I've been surprised. around him once. The most, Oh, really? Like that nigga's kind of scary. He's he's one of the real ones that I go. Eh, he's kind of scary. Um, he sold drugs. I mean, you know, not that part. I mean, just it, as a person, you go. Some people, you just go. Like when I met Dwayne Rock Johnson, I thought super nice dude, super duper super nice. But I thought if he really wanted to, he could kill all of us here in the airport. 
with you your treat, bare hands. You treat just, your head like a uh, uh, overripe cantaloupe, just yeah, he just, did. The motherfucker is sound. what he he was like almost three some three hundred and some pounds, and he's six five. And I'm looking up at this nigga's chin. I'm like, wow. Okay then. Yep. Hey, Mister Mister Rock. Let me keep it real political with that. Uh, B Pryor in the building. K Job in the house. Seba three one three. It's a Detroit affair today, y'all. What up? Yeah, bro? it's a lot of Detroit right. motherfuckers. So let's start this show off, man. Uh, we're gonna end today's show. Savage AF, October twentieth, twenty twenty. Say her name. Uh, a Breonna Taylor juror is speaking out. Um, and he's they we I, we I don't we don't know the identity, but they represented by a lawyer seem to have some very interesting things to say. We're gonna talk about that, but before we get into that, we're gonna talk about the four horsemen, uh, a reference <laughs> a reference to the apocalypse. But they're basically four, according to CNN.com, four waves of of attack against voters this this election cycle. We're gonna talk about that. Uh, but before we get into that, we're going to talk about <laughs> Big Bank Take, Little Bank. Aye, homie. Aye. Big, uh, Aye. Big Mike Bloomberg is, uh, is empty in Trump's pocket uh, in Florida and, and throughout the South. We're going to talk about that. Um, but before we get into that, uh, to start today's show, we're going to go with that old adage that the pen is mightier. And that being a reference to... Pennsylvania being a, being allowed to count ballots up to three days or, you know, yeah, count ballots up to three days after Election Day. Uh, the GOP wanted the wanted Election Day as the deadline for, for counting right. ballots and, 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 and collecting ballots. But uh, the Pennsylvania Supreme Court uh, ruled against that. It got taken up to the United States Supreme Court, SCOTUS. And once again, surprisingly, John Roberts, chief justice, conservative, uh, sided with the liberals. And since we have a vacant seat right now that they are rushing, and this is why they're rushing so hard to fill it, because, you know, right. ACB would have been they're, like... They're they said they're faxing her in. ACB would have they're, been like, shut down all polling now, polling. Yes, stop, no black ballots. people don't deserve rights. Uh, Jay Phillips in the building. What's up, Jay Phillips? Oh, very, very funny, funny comic right. in the sure building. That, Jay yeah, Phillips yeah, in the building. Yeah, whatever, but yeah, no, I think that, that yeah, I think that the thing that was good about it is that, with the split. But I know that they wish that she was there because I know she would have definitely sided on because she's shown in the in the fucking you know when they were basically grilling her, she's shown where she's coming from. Uh, oh yeah, no, clearly. That, that's no, no doubt about clearly. that. She's, so, so yeah, she's clear. You got this. Yeah. You got right now. We have an even number of. Supreme Court justices on the bench, right? So, right. They're, 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 this ended up since Roberts sided with the liberals. Uh, this ended up being a four-four split, debt tie. You know, so null and void. It goes right back down to the lower court, the the state Supreme Court's decision. And the which, state which Supreme Court was against. like, "Hey, don't, hey, don't quit fucking with us." And, <laughs> and the, the, <laughs> they, Prime Minister they talked it out. Yeah, man. They, so, I, I think that the, I think that the main thing that I, I like about the fact that he has shown that he is trying to stick to the law and not to his own fucking, you know, what he feels or the way he was brought up is like I don't like the color blue, like uh, you know, dumb shit. You know, I think that that's good. And the fucking thing that's crazy about it is the if you look at the Republicans pretending to a lot of their lawsuits and a lot of stuff in the courts and Trump, he's three for zero. Oh. Like, like now he's like lost three. And he lost three, and they, the courts have not sided with him on none of the shit he want to do. And in New York, they're waiting for him. If he loses, they're waiting for him. Because the court said, nah, motherfucker, you got to get up off those taxes. Yeah, we still can go through with this fucking shit that you did before. So I, I just hope that he fucking... As soon as he... If he lose, if he lose, I want as soon as he walk out, they throw the handcuffs out of him and go, put them on yourself, bitch. Put the handcuffs on yourself. Speaking of, hand, hand. speaking of handcuffs, AJ Fit, uh, come on, dog, don't snitch, bro. He's like Miss Miss Adverb, late as fuck. I was gonna call her out, but if you, if, if the class gonna turn on itself that quick, right off the bat, he's like, she late, she late. Yeah, all right. So you know what? It I is, ain't saying Adverb. shit about. I ain't pole. saying shit about Miss Adverb or, or Miss Pronoun or Miss uh, Syllabus. I ain't saying shit <laughs> about you because you's a vicious ass little tiny. You like a pit bull. With a little bow on it, and I ain't fucking with you no more. 
because you went in on me and it was justified. So <laughs> AJ feel like she told on me. All right, all right, all right. Break it up. Break it up. Both y'all go back. You two, you two kids. God damn Say it way. again, and I'll turn yeah. this car around, and we'll all go home. No like field the, trip. But like Donnie B says, Miss Aver, get your ass up on that pole to the pole. Okay, get up Come on, on the, the pole. Stage. If you like commas <laughs> and semicolons, you gonna love it. <laughs> exactly. Everyone. There's some holes in this house. There's hey. some holes. In... I can't believe that song stuck in my head for a minute. It's so <laughs> fucking bad. It's such a bad song. Um, you know, it's, you know, a song, except I'm, you for know the people song? that like it, the people that like it, you like it. I don't give a fuck. You know, a song I'm stuck on is that uh, that weekend joint, Blinding Lights. Dun 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 dun. dun, hey, dun are dun. you serious, that shit, nigga? That shit sounds like every fucking thing. The first time I heard it, I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember this song from back in the day." Nigga, it took me like 84 times hearing that song, being like, "Wait, that was made this year." Like, yeah. It's, it's so retro, but it's so I, I love that jam, man. It reminds me. It reminds. It reminds me of like the this place called the Zoo. They used to have. It's just like a whole bunch of black folks trying to be in time where they was trying to be grown for a minute. That's what it's. It reminds me of, and I just, <laughs> I, I just go, ugh. I, if it's too retro, then it's. Too, I get to the point where it's like, nigga, why don't we just listen to the original <laughs> version of the song? Come on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Averb said Weekend is the black Lana Del Rey. I don't even fully understand that reference, but I'm... I'm but we're going to leave I that alone. Fucking, I but no, I, I was going to ask you, Pedro, when you when you first read about it, and that's a great, fuck, the pen is my dear. I got to give you, I'm giving double props to Pedro. The pen is my dear. My P -E -N -N ear. P-E-N-N, -N -N Pennsylvania. Yeah, P-E-N-N, -N, and the sword. And I, right now, I think that there might be a situation until this fucking Amy white bread... I'm going to decide to take women's fucking rights to their body, whatever the fuck her name is. I hate her already. Um, I think that uh, if we continue to go down this route, I think they should fucking pad the fucking course, even though they said the American public is against it because they feel like, well, you didn't get your way. Well, you stole a fucking, you stole one of the fucking, you know, Supreme Court justice. You stole yeah. one, so fuck that. We get another one back. Yeah, you flat out did, and and Obama should have fought harder, but Obama was trying to be appeasing to everybody and trying to be a president of everybody as opposed to Trump, who's trying to be the president of the only the people who have missing front teeth and have had sex with their relatives. But, you know, because the majority of the Trump supporters probably fucked another person in their family. Very, very good chance. Of the, of the, the, the serious base, yeah, they, they definitely got down in that dungeon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nasty motherfuckers. Um, all right, so uh, check this out, guys. Um, th this is important, though, because this is part of that whole process of them trying to, you know, interfere with the voting, like voter suppress, right? So, and, and, and obviously this state is, is very critical. It's one of those swing states that, uh, Trumpy Dumpty was able to flip last time over Hillary. Typically goes Democrat. It went red, like my home state of Michigan and Wisconsin. So, um, right. you know, the, it's it's literally, you know, one of the battleground states of, of this election cycle. And, uh, you know, th this court decision was important. And, it, you know, it's not it's not a decision by SCOTUS because you can't, they, you know, there there's an even number of seats. So, you, you know, the majority that they had, the conservatives, they lost when, when Roberts, you know, sided with, with liberals or, or, you know, and, and I, you know, I think it's interesting that, you know, Roberts, and I still don't like him for fucking up Obama's inauguration with the swearing in and he said it wrong. And Obama was like, no, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, yeah. um, uh, but he he has uh, had. You said it wrong. <laughs> that's what he Obama has, did. The, uh, that's wrong, and that's how he talks anyway. He's had some. Uh, he's had some. Um, you know, surprising decisions. I would say, uh, considering his uh, conservative label and and history and record. But uh, where? But but I am kind of understanding him. Uh, you know, to be more of a judicial purist than his conservative uh, peers on, on, on the bench uh, in the Supreme Court. So, like, right. right now, I think John Roberts' chief justice is really more concerned about 
the integrity of the court, which, you know, all things aside, no matter which what is what they're supposed to do. It's, yeah. But it, yeah. And, it, you know, and, and that's critical. And, you know, I, I am, am gaining some respect for that slice of his role as chief justice is that I think he is holding a line of sorts um, uh, uh, about the integrity of the of the bench of the Supreme of the, Court, of the bench. So, so but you know what? Become, that it doesn't become this conservative tool. You know what I mean? He doesn't right. Want but that. Pedro, you, Pedro, you got to look at it this way. Basically, the Supreme Court should have our tag. It should be our tag. It should be hashtag Supreme Court hashtag. Fuck your feelings. Let's fuck. You know what about these facts? Let's go with the facts of things. Let's go with, if you want to be a purist, be a purist to the fucking law and not to what you feel about Roe versus Wade or whatever else. And also, you, but you, at the same time, you do got to have some kind of moral center because ultimately it's got to be like pertaining to women's rights and what to do with their body. There got to be a point where you got to step the fuck out as a man and go, wait a minute, I'm an old white man. And uh, I, if, if I'm an old white man on the fucking Supreme Court, maybe I shouldn't be telling this young girl that was got in a situation where she got pregnant and is not in a position to raise this child. You want the children to be born, but you don't want to fucking take care of them, especially kids of color. You're like, yeah, we, we, we can have them born, but then we're going to fuck them over for their entire life. Right. Because that's how they treat us, and that's where they look at us. So, I mean, I know that's people saying, here you go with the race shit again, but let's real. Come on, come on. Fuck that. You know I'm telling the truth. They, they, yeah, they, yeah. Jones and poor black folks right now. That's why they toting out Ice Cube and they tote they they fucking well, photoshopped the picture of Ice Cube and Fifty Cent together. See, and to, and yeah, it's it's you know that that that's the problem with with Cube engaging that it it's he leaves space for them to become, um, you know, props. Yeah. Basically. Wow. Yep. 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 You know. Yeah. And, and and I don't mean like you know street props. I mean like set props. <laughs> you, you mean? Know, like, you mean like? Hey, put that plan over there, Bill. Yeah. 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 Uh, we need more lamps in here. Um, <laughs> exactly. Now, exactly. Exactly. AJ AJ Fit three sixty five. Everybody hates cold silly. Y'all break it up, guys. All right. There's a no, no, no. On we don't hate Cold Silly. I know who Cold Silly is. No, no, no. When it, I no, no. It's 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 literally in his name. It says everybody hates underscore Cold Silly. Oh wow! I, I, oh, it was shit. No judgment. No judgment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading. No judgment. I'm just reading what the fuck <laughs> the people no, no. said. This is yeah, what yeah. the people voted. No, no, yeah, right. yeah that's you know he, that's self titled. So I'm just yeah. I'm just going with no, that. That's uh, yeah, I, but but y'all <laughs> come on, y'all. We good. You know. And everybody hates Cold Silly might be a Russian bot that Shang knows, but I'm fucking with you. But the reality <laughs> is... <laughs> no, I don't know him. I don't know him, know him. I met we, him on another feed. Okay, what know? we don't need to do is is beat brakes off each other or makeshift clitor eye like Miss um, Adverb has labeled it. Um, but uh, we don't, we don't, you know, come on, guys, stay focused on the lesson. We ain't about to, uh, you know what? There's a, it's, there's a it's whole cool. bunch of other enemies out there. You, you guys, you guys are savage. You see, you bunch of, you bunch of fucking savages. And while you're being savage, why don't you savagely go over and subscribe to the motherfucking YouTube channel and quit acting like y'all brand new. Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. Go there and subscribe. And you can see the past shows and also other clips of shit we dropping for you. So that's how we gonna fucking do that. And everybody hates Cold Silly. Everybody don't hate you. I'm sure your mama like you. And if she alive, I don't want no disrespect. If your mama's alive and she probably love you, at least one girl you dropped a pill in her drink probably liked you before you did something nasty to her. So you, you know, you're disgusting in a, a silly way. Eve's underscore Apple, you are not invisible, young lady. But speak up. Speak your mind and we out here. We got you. Get in the conversation, girl. We love you. Right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, we, we do the best we can under the circumstances. Okay, or, so or you could just be in the background stabbing motherfuckers, like you said. So go ahead, Eve. That's, 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 that's what yeah, we Yeah, sometimes you got to have really? silent but deadly. Okay, stabbing men up their shafts. Now you've gone too far, Eve's underscore Apple. That's... Uh, I'm at cutting off dick. That's a little okay. extra. That's a little too much. <laughs> this commentary is gone uh, all the way. All right. And so. cutting off the dick. <laughs> Sound like some <laughs> some happened to her. Okay. Some happened to her. Right. Somebody, uh, somebody did something to her where she wants to cut dicks off and put them uh, as decorations yeah. in her definitely. living room. What? Listen. Once you start talking about cutting off dicks, you will you would definitely not be invisible to me. So you are definitely heard now. And definitely I am um, seen. I this is, I am so scared face. I am a witness. <laughs> and I hope um, y'all are too in court. 
Uh, and, no, yeah, I'm it. hoping that Come the on, Supreme girl. Court take that case to the fucking Supreme Court. Um, but no, I was going to ask you, and I want to ask everybody here on Savage AF, who probably, and only the people that are subscribed, you probably are the only ones that smell better. The people that haven't subscribed, you smile, you probably smell like doo doo. But I just want you to want to know: Do you think that once she gets in, do you think it's every like all of left wing is saying that she's immediately going to try to get this Roe versus Wade thing oak flipped and um, you know the Affordable Care Act? I really do think that once she gets into the Supreme Court, those are going to be absolutely her agenda. And there's nothing we can do because she's going to be there for life unless she gets hit by a car or stabbed by one of the people from Savage AF. I love that part of our commentary on the show is uh, C. Vaughn's 247. is like, stabbing is not okay. And then immediately, <laughs> and then immediately, Eve's all caps, stabbing is always okay. Stabbing is always okay. Wow. Okay, okay. no. <laughs> but uh, listen, y'all, listen. Uh, stab not lest ye be stabbed upon. Turn to your books of... <laughs> of, 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 of the stab. Book of Swords. Um, but y'all know what it is, man. Savage AF. The crowd goes wild. As we always say, uh, our, our crowd is, is, is more savage than we are. Um, yes. But well, even more, even more savage than that might be ACB herself, uh, Amy Coney Well, Barrett. Pedro Pedro got a side of him that's, that's be more savage that you guys haven't seen. Beach. I have. Man. So... Um, no, I was the reason I was bringing that up. <laughs> the book of stabilizations, yes, that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, oh, everybody knows that. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> All right, the, of course, so, that's the that's the old chapter. The the but, new chapter is, is think, done. I, but you know, I think that hopefully Justice Roberts is setting an example for a conservative mind that can still be, um, what's the word, sane. Um, you know, is that the word we're looking for? Yeah, I think um, so. That yeah, doesn't have that, to be like, like you know, uh, stupid. You know what I mean? Like that could right. just actually be, you know, kind of, if not middle of the road, but yeah. Sometimes get liberal with this shit. Like in in the, in the age of a pandemic, if the state of Pennsylvania says, "Hey." we would like to allow more time for our, our citizens within this state to have their ballots be counted after the actual election day, their, their mail-ins. Why, why should the federal court step in and change that at all? You know what I mean? That state right. has decided, that state's court has decided what was best, best for it. He didn't see any other reason to change that as far as I could tell. And, you know, that, that to me is... You know, uh, he shows he got some of, character. Yeah, yeah. Judicial, shows, judicial impartiality, I think. Where yes, like, and he listen. shows he got some center and some character. Character, and how we say, you know, he got some cojones. He got cojones. He said, yeah. "Fuck Trump." Okay, not Fuck a full endorsement. Shit. Not a full endorsement of the man. Like not a full say, endorsement, but, but it's but, better than nothing. Okay, and let me yeah. tell you, cocksucker, or something. Okay, these motherfuckers. If they get the chance, they'll fuck you, okay? They'll fuck you, okay? So that's why I was glad to see him step up, you know, and have some cojones on hey. big, giant, round. Hey. Speaking of getting fucked, man. Don't, don't you. Like, lo, like los cubanos in Miami, man. <laughs> yes. I'm talking about Miguel Bloomberg. Miguel. Miguel Bloomberg, man. He is spending money, man. To he fuck Haunted, haunted, Good. billion, million, trillion, gajillion dollar, man. In Florida? In, in Florida, man. Yeah? And he, That's what he, I'm talking about. He breaking, Drop that money, man. baby. He breaking Donald Trump, man. He taking all the yeah. money, man. He taking yes, all drop the that money, money, baby. Bang, 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 Donald bang, Trump ain't got no money for Bloomberg, man. Bloomberg got money. He's crazy, he's man. He's crazy, man. By the way, that was scar face, people. Me? I said, <laughs> she said, what you going to do if I leave? I said, bitch, I'm going to do me. Big bank, yep. little bank. Uh, yeah, he's killing so, him. He's killing him. And you know he put out a press release to let him know specifically he's killing him. That's how gangster <laughs> Bloomberg Bloomberg said, not only am I spending this money, cuz, I'm put, I'm letting you and your peoples know yo, when I'm spending this money. He's like, yo, I got a hundred million on Donald Trump's head. 
anybody who politically could bring me that motherfucker, 100 million, dog. So <laughs> the reality is, whippa! what's happening is that uh, Bloomberg committed about, uh, what's it, a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, actually about a month ago, um, this 100 billion, 100 million, sorry, 100 million, million, dollar, million. dollar pledge of money uh, into the state of Florida, strictly pro Biden, anti Trump shit. Right. That being right. said, this is we understand that this is an absolute critical like of all the of all the states that are swing and battle and all these other states. Florida is the absolute key. Like he cannot. Florida, he cannot Wisconsin, get there. Uh, yeah, Milwaukee. What's Mil, Mil, uh, Wisconsin? Florida. Ohio's in, Ohio's in Ohio, Florida. Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah. In, in the in the Trumpy Dumpy. Um, you know, realm of, of possibilities, Florida has to happen. Like it, it, it Florida can, has to it go cannot, down, but it cannot not happen. So what 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 this does though, it, it, and and the real brilliance of this move is that it's allowed. What 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 did it, it's forced uh, the, the Trumpy Dumpy campaign's hand into funneling all of their money, like you know, like just it's one of those draining things where they got to spend buku bucks to try and compete with michael bloomberg they're not getting the donations and things that they uh got last time so they're not pulling in money like that right so uh this is this is draining the trump campaign in florida which allows the super PACs that are, are backing biden to focus their money in all those northern swing states that we were just talking about like pennsylvania ohio michigan wisconsin right and also Nevada. Nevada, actually, a lot of the money that they were shifting for advertisements, at least the Biden campaign, Biden Harris campaign, is now sent, they they switched the shit to the because we do need Vegas. Too. We need you know that we need Nevada. So I love the fact that Bloomberg's kind of like, oh, you thought you was bigger than me, motherfucker. That's what he's basically saying to Trump. Oh, I'll pay to get your ass out. That's how the fuck we doing it. That's why when he joined. To you know, join the run for president. I thought the motherfucker's not gonna win, but he's gonna make a point. So, and and and, right. and the feed is going wild. They're going crazy. It's, it's on each other. Okay, so so back <laughs> we're back to uh, <laughs> well, you know, and essentially, uh, Bloomberg has emasculated uh, Donald Trumpy Dumpty. Where it counts, president. where he where he believes it so, counts, so, and that's so money. That's that's essentially a castration, uh, dick chopping, which Eve's underscore Apple seven nine one six. Our queen of the show has, uh, you know, let us know tonight that uh, she she cuts off the dicks and she's the one who collects. I see. And Shane, you didn't even tell me this because I didn't, I didn't know that was part of the business deal with Eve is that she was going out, chopping off the dicks, putting them in bags. And then that's the bag of dicks that you are feeding to. Well, no. Mitch I, McConnell. I, you know why? You, so you were. Well, oh, you I didn't, didn't even, I didn't oh, even fucking know that. The, you thought it was the dick bag fairy? And dick yeah, no, I didn't even. I, I thought like, there was a store. This. I'm gonna feed this to the Republicans, but no, it's uh, uh, Eve says she's the one cutting off the dicks and put them in bags. And yeah, uh, cold silly, that that that's the gig. Sometimes you know, somebody <laughs> dicks don't jump well, in the bags by themselves. Okay, somebody gotta put chop them off and put them in the bag. If you're just joining in and you're wondering why we're talking about dicks and bags and who chops them off, that's because the show is called Savage as Fuck. And if any of that offends yeah. you, fuck your feelings. Okay. <laughs> And uh, I saw facts? some of the people jump what about on. Facts? Yeah, some people jumped on and went, oh, shit, dicks in a bag. And then they jumped off. But that happens. I mean, people see anytime. You know what? If I walked in the store and the people that was, you know, working at the store said dicks in a bag, I'd be like, you know what? I think I'm going to shop down the street. I think I'm going to go down the street because apparently y'all selling some shit I don't really want to talk about. But I think that, that the know, main thing I think that Bloomberg did, Bloomberg really just basically need him in the nuts because, you know, Trump is all about how much money he made. And I make more money. And for, I owe $450 million. And that's nothing. That's chip. That's nothing. And yeah, but guess what, motherfucker? That's personal. That's buck spear for Bloomberg. That is, he, that is pocket change for Bloomberg. 
Come on, man. He's killing you. He's killing you in Florida. Somebody said that he's up. Biden's up by three in Florida, which is not going to stand because the Florida people was racist as fuck. Because, I mean, that was where the old folks were riding going, yeah, white power. White power. Shut up, niggers. White power. Woo! Yeah, it just, you know. Pam Pam Doris Box asked, why they cutting off dicks? Girl, listen, you've been to this show too too many goddamn times. You know you in the fucking Thunderdome. You can't be standing in the middle of the Gladiator Arena going, guys, this isn't right. Just get in the fight, Pam Doris. Right. I, dicks I, are being chopped. They're being bagged. Okay, I'm trying my served. best right. not to talk about the bag of dicks as much as possible. <laughs> and I don't even want it associated with me. You, know, you can't back away from it now, Shane. You, you, All right, you, you fuck bro- it. Let's go. You, bro- you, you know what? I got a list of motherfuckers. <laughs> Into the Savage AF world. You brought it in there. Okay, I know I didn't bring it in. So all you motherfuckers that don't understand, all you people tweeting back and forth, whatever this nigga's name is, because he want to keep going with me, Vernell. Yeah, first off, nigga, change your name, Vernell. How about that? Vernell wants to keep retweeting and calling me stuff. Call me a a bitch. And then I called him a bitch and they called his family bitches. So Vernell, uh, you can can eat it on Twitter. (laughs) You can eat a dick. Um, You can eat a bag of dicks. And and all the other people that don't like Savage AF, he said, Savage AF, you're a bunch of morons. I'm reading it right now. But guess what? We're morons that your mom's likes. Eat a bag of dicks. That's good. So That's how about that? So, yeah. yeah, I got some people where oh. I did some stuff on Twitter to promote the show. And apparently some people are very, 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 very um, – Pro Trump, and then like what I said, and and Cole Silly, but but the people that don't say, can't see the feed when we put this on YouTube, there's a dude named um, Everybody Hates Cole Silly. If you get a chance, go to his Instagram and put photos of dicks in his inbox. That's what I want y'all to do because he likes that type of shit. At least that's what I heard hey, from his. Uh, that's what I heard you. from his mother. We support yeah, him. You know his what? No, everybody doesn't hate Cold Silly. You just hate yourself, man. Learn to love yourself, Cold yeah. Silly. Come on out that closet, bro. Come on out. Yeah, I mean, ain't nobody. Yeah, I mean, I'm saying it as a, I'm saying it as a joke threat. You're saying it as a, what you like your delicacy. That's you're saying it like, (laughs) you're saying it as a meal. I'm saying it as a threat. So, well, you know, so to each their own. Dinner is served. Uh, By the way, Pam Doris box is like, uh, now my kid was asking that about why we cutting off dicks. Had to send his ass upstairs. Listen. (laughs) <laughs> Savage AF, Savage AF is for the kids. We su- we support the kids. We support the kids. We just we 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 for the kids. We just not for their ears. Okay, so we we gonna do we gonna do things to uplift them and bring them a better. I believe the children are the future. You know, but them well and let them lead the way. So, but we not we not. They don't need to hear us. Okay, you know, it's it's a message for the parents that you pass down um, through right. filters through filters. Okay. Don't and apparently be, Eve and Cole Silly are going at it. Um, Eve has just told Cole Silly that Cole Silly touches babies. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. They're not babies. They're toddlers. Okay. Yeah. Get it straight. Yeah. Well, but it's, it's Savage out. AF is what we do. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast version of Savage AF. You already know what it is. You know what the, the different things you can see us and hear us. You can see us on YouTube, but you can hear us in your ears on Spotify, uh, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, uh, Google Play, uh, Slacker, Google Stitcher, Play. iHeartRadio. Stitcher. Uh, we have the Swap uh, Meet. We had uh, yes. Nick's, Nick's uh, Check Cashing. Although I don't invite church you to go Chicken. there. Church's Chicken. Yeah, yeah, but don't go there either. Um, yeah, don't go there. This is bad for you. <laughs> Eat kale. Uh, and if you want to uh, see us, you can get this on YouTube, Savage AF Podcast. That's what you want to look up there, guys. All right, so, man... Um, let let you know. Let's. I, I'm, I'm loving this big bang take, little bang game that Bloomberg is doing. But uh, that being said, we still got to go out and vote, right? The Bloomberg's putting all this money in the ads so that your ass, wherever you are, will go. Wherever out you are, vote. Cheryl the girl, girl, what up, though? What's uh, up? Detroit what up, right though? There. Um, Yikes! So, so um, I, I I came across the CNN uh, dot com article, you know, and. Uh, it was laying out, it says, the four threats facing voters this election and how you can beat them. Um, so, you know, I've been saying things like avoid Facebook, boycott this, don't get caught up in meme world where 
Just means, and by the way, Miss Adverb is on the poll all night tonight. So get your dollars out, guys. Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, Miss Adverb, you keep fucking with me. I'm going to get my pennies out and start pelt you with them. That's the worst shit in the world where a stripper starts getting pelted with pennies. Like, you ain't popping your pussy well enough, so I start pelting you with pennies. You know how many peas that is I just rocked on you? Understand it. Feel Pack it. Pistol Bam. posse. All right. Um, yep. So, okay. So, here, here, here are the, the four factors as, as, as CNN.com is laying out. Uh, f- false reports of leaked voter data. Right? So, what you might start seeing on these platforms are these reports of people's IDs being stolen, voter registration, information being leaked or, uh, you know, uh, hacked and things like that. Um, The reality is this has happened on a very small scale in the past, but has also never had an impact on uh, people's ability to vote or the... um, you know, th- th- any given state's ability to, to tally those votes or, or count them. So to count them, right. Yeah. So, you know, watch out for that. Right. And, and a lot of these are, are just really just disinformation things. You know what I mean? A lot of. A right. Lot of- They're trying to. It's, it's distraction. It's definitely distraction because that's what the president's good at. So are the JLP. They like to fucking, you know, hey, hey, why they why they, they stick their finger in your ass? Like, hey, whoa, whoa, mother. And you, then you got to punch them. Then you got to punch them in their face. But um, I knew about that, and I knew there's three I knew about. The one there was one I didn't know about. So it's it's sad that they are so weak that they got to use these tactics to try to make us not want to vote. And it's nothing but voter, you know, disenfranchising. Oh, it's yeah. nothing but. All right. So so there there's that right. So so watch out for these stories of oh I had my information hacked and blah blah blah. It, it, you know. Just move past that. Keep swimming towards your goal. Vote, vote, vote. Um, misleading online journals. And um, this is the thing. It's like, uh, so I'll just read a, the, the opening sentence from this, this um, part of it. Uh, foreign governments have used pseudo-academic online journals to spread false information in the past. And they may use them again to try to influence the outcome of the election, uh, the FBI says. Uh, such fake online journals could express support for specific candidates, uh, right. alleged voter suppression, amplify reports of real or alleged cyber attacks on election infrastructure, and assert voter fraud, um, so federal, federal officials say. Um, so, you know, my thing would be don't get caught up into too many sources at this point. Um, Stick with your most official as, as as best you can, but but then that 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 gets hard because that gets us to our next wave of attack, which is which are fake websites and email accounts, and 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 you know apparently these hackers have become really really good. Oh, Jay News is in the building. Welcome to Hollywood, nigga. You know yeah, Jay News. Hollywood. Um, SRNC, <laughs> what's up, babe? Um, we got a lot of people that's jumping on. I wanted to say thank y'all for supporting us. Make sure you subscribe to the fucking YouTube channel, or else Cold Silly will live with you, and yeah, then what will happen? Be right there on the couch, on the sectional. Um, so fake websites and email accounts. Uh, I'm gonna read this. Cyber criminals have mastered the art of spoofing email domains. During the elections, they use uh, that to fool people into thinking that websites or emails are legitimate. Right. So what they'll do is they'll they'll change like one little letter. So um, it says these crooks set up fake domains by making small changes to words like electon instead of election. Right. So like they'll, it, one little letter missing, it'll look and seem legit otherwise. And, you know, looking at a URL. I mean, are you, are you spell checking every fucking thing that writes? I, I, I do that now because I've been stepping up my coding game. So I have a tendency to do that. But the average person is not going to do that. So a lot of people get bamboozled. You get you get swindled. You'll be Ooh, run amok. You'll be run a sway. Uh, run a, yeah. Yeah. You'll be uh, you, uh, 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 voter suppression didn't land on us. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I meant. We landed on it. Uh, yeah, wait, we, yeah. Yeah. What you just said. 
Yeah. I mean, it's so much bullshit, man, and they are really doing their best, man. Other than and one of the ones that wasn't in there was the fact that they are getting malicious, not malicious, terrorists. Are, are, these terrorists are actually getting people to go to different polling places in, in the uh, states we need and intimidate, and they're armed. And I mean armed to the teeth with uh, body armor. Um, <laughs> the AR, what's the AR-15? Is it AR-15? Yep. AR-15, I mean, they literally look like they're about to fight aliens. And, I mean, like alien invaders, and they're all dressed up like that. And they were seen at four different polling places. People were trying to tell people which way they could poll. Also, police who are not allowed to be where they were wearing Trump um, masks. Right. And so, in turn, you're not allowed to do that. It's against the law. You can't be, you can't tell people, oh, you can't vote. Or if you had a Black Lives Matter t-shirt on, they were telling people they can't vote. And if somebody came to you what body armor on and a fucking gun and said, you can't bring that Black Lives Matter t-shirt in, uh, then most people get scared. So don't let that sway you. They're not allowed to do that shit at all. Yep. No law says that. So that's not in there, but that's happening. That's real shit. Yeah, man, for sure. Um, so, and then, and then the, last, the last wave of, of this, you know, attack on our, our democracy uh, through the voting system by, by foreign entities, this is. Right? We obviously yeah. have uh, domestic entities that are also uh, have always attacked our democracy. Um, but the, the, and I sort of preface all of this with that, but these are the, the foreign entities that are and the ways that they're attacking us. Um, but cyber attacks that, that slow election systems. So, um, and, and, and slow is the key word because they, 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 there have been attempts Again, on smaller scales, nothing that you right. really need to uh, worry about. And you know what? I see you, I see you cold silly out there, and I, I'm just letting the crowd handle you tonight. I got AJ Fit by my side and Miss Adverb and Eves underscore Apple. So between that, I got, like, uh, a superhero strong, a uh, pit bull in a skirt, and a dick chopper. I'm I'm really not worried about you tonight. Yeah, there's, ain't, gonna there's get no into fear. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That's, a, that's a hell of a squad right there. So... Um, but that being said, uh, th there are foreign entities that work uh, to hack the actual, you know, mechanisms and systems that, um, you know, that allow us to actually vote. But again, um, just like with the leaking of voter information, which is on a small scale, none of this has actually ever affected people's ability to vote or, uh, or for the votes to be counted. It's just slow it has slow right it's process. just that but yeah the, like Sometimes i wanted to say out of all itself. of those things all of them are fucked up and it's all trying to get you not to vote or be scared to vote or misdirect you to vote but the shit that fucked my head up is the fact that they actually there hasn't been a more of an outcry of motherfuckers mad and people like yo this is some bullshit where they actually are, are saying telling people to to police the, the the polls you're not even allowed to be in to tell see where i'm voting and these motherfuckers is letting some in some in some counties in these racist ass fucking areas where some of these racist motherfuckers live, they are letting these regular motherfuckers just walk up and police you. Hey Pedro, you're not allowed to vote. Who are you? I'm Bill. What the fuck is that? I'm Bill. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well like, take this take this bill to the dentist when I knock your teeth out your fucking Yeah, what, who the fuck are you? Like they feel like they can police us. That's why if you've seen there's more videos of uh, Caucasians or European Americans. I'm not saying all European Americans, but I'm saying where well, they feel like they can just come up and police you in regular shit you doing. But now they really feel emboldened because they're like, "This is about the election, and I have to make some you sure no wrongdoing is going on, motherfucker. You ain't no, you ain't no fucking cop. You ain't, and even the cops are doing it. That's what I'm telling you. In Wisconsin, there was cops doing it. Official police officers with Trump masks. You know, deterring people from fucking voting. This is not some shit I made up. You can Google this shit, and Shane, it's you so make wild shit and shit's all happening. The time. Yeah, nah, shit in the bag of dick that shit. That ain't that shit what is all about, made man? up. But this is what scary. Don't y'all get that? And they specifically targeting black folks. They are targeting black folks and people of color specifically yeah. so they can get them not to vote because they yeah, know that we are the tipping scale of it. That's why they don't want us to vote. And again, got to go back to Kim Jones. If we ever get the majority, you lucky we looking for fucking equality and not revenge because half you motherfuckers heads would be knocked the fuck off for some of the shit you done did in society. I'm going to let it go from there. 
Head knocking off. Head knocking off. Oh, man. Well, you know, so th that, that leads us to our, our last story for tonight. Um, Savage AF, y'all. Uh, follow at Comedian Shang always. I forgot. Make sure you follow at all the people on my feed. I'm on as many as you can. Go to at Black Pedro. Make sure you follow. I know some of y'all watch it on my feed because we, we switch off and mine is always fucking up, which I'm going to desperately try to fix that. But make sure that you follow at Black Pedro. Do me that favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So you got two fucking things to do, both for free. Subscribe to um, our YouTube channel at Savage AF Podcast and make sure you follow at Black Pedro. That's it. I didn't ask for a lot. That's it. And, uh, and be careful, y'all, because y'all done brought the Bernie Mac out of uh, Eve's underscore Apple 7916, who is now, in addition to being COO, Chief Operating Officer, she is now our uh, Chief Dick Chopper. Uh, yeah, that's which, uh, which scary, is, which is, our, our nation has a different CDC. It's not the Center for Disease Control. It's Chief Dick Chopper. Um, she said, I'm not scared of you motherfuckers. And, yeah. uh, you know, I'm a, a person carrying around a bag of dicks that they've harvested themselves. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? They're probably not I'm going to leave that me. shit alone. Probably not scared of me. You know I don't even really want to talk about that. All right. So scared shit out of me. What we do need to talk about, though, is uh, say her name. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and one person who we obviously know could use a good dick chopping would be uh, Kentucky Attorney General Daniel coon of the year cameron um where he uh so he, he didn't want to really publicly release uh any grand jury documents um right. a, ju a judge decided to release them um you know and, and and literally it was uh to make sure that and this is the quote part publicly elected officials are being honest Right. So we just want to know exactly what was presented to the grand jury in the Breonna Taylor case that only brought about charges against drywall in the neighbor's apartment. You know, right. It brought nothing against the actual taking of Breonna Taylor's life. Nobody is right. going, going well, to pay for that. Right. So so this upon the release of this information and now freeze. Uh, the jurors, the grand jurors, to to right. open up a bit. And while we don't have the identity let, uh, yet, through uh, lawyer Kevin uh, Glogauer, it looks like his name is. Yeah. Um, this this and and they're only being the, uh, identified as grand juror number one um, is beginning to speak out. And what they're saying is that the grand jury itself did not agree with Daniel Cameron's assessment that her shooting was justified because he said be, you know because of the, a police the, there was a shot fire and a police officer was shot that their return of fire was justified and what this grand juror number one is saying is that the grand jury itself did not does not agree with that um also one thing we already knew is that they were only presented with uh wanton endangerment charges and nothing else um, right yeah and and, and they uh, just they, but, they weren't they weren't ever pre presented with any information right and the, like, the the main thing in the article one of the articles oh no okay i got it i was well, gonna say one of the main things in, go, just, in, just in the, real quick just real quick the grand jury okay. added that self-defense and justification laws were not explained either so the justification that um, the AG used in Kentucky to justify <laughs> the shooting wasn't even explained to that grand jury. Sorry, right. sorry go ahead. I just want to put that No, down. the other thing in one of the articles they said, uh, and this is some shit that I think should have been glaring, they should have put that big black bold fucking Helvetica fonts, is that they asked one um, witness three times, and by the third time is when he said Oh yeah, oh, yeah, I think that they I heard did them announce themselves. Right. So that was one of the things that Bullshit. that I think that was glaring that they should have noticed. They should have noticed that. That should have been something you should have brought up, which they fucking didn't do cause they bitches. And I think that um Kuman Kunrin is a bitch too, and he didn't want to get that out. Just like yeah. 
you know, a lot of these times when these people fuck up and do bad shit, just like they were trying to bring all this shit out on Biden and bar fucking, there was none of it was accurate. And then they just bury it. But during the news cycle, they fucking put it out there. During the news cycle, he tried to act justified without bringing up something glaring. This motherfucker three times did not tell you this. And then the, the third time that he said, oh, yeah, I think. And he, oh, in yeah. fact, he said, oh, yeah, I think I did hear him. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I think I did hear him. This is it's fucking, a total, yeah, it's total bullshit. Total bullshit. It's total bullshit. So that was the um, one thing that and when I read the article, I just went, oh, so y'all just going to try to gloss over that shit, you bitches. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Mel, Mel B, 1177, a, a fellow mighty technician, uh, Detroit is in the house. I would love if people were talking about who brought the warrant to the judge and what judge signed the warrant. And and a very important point. And, and you know, ultimately, I know, I know we've talked about this in the past on the show here, Savage AF, is that, you know, that I think ultimately that's the, the only real justice we'll be able to get, if at all, is that this 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 faulty process of the warrant, there, there, there is a lying that happened. That we that we know about that right. the, the the officer that obtained the warrant said that the the postmaster general in in Louisville, t you know, told them that there were suspicious packages going to Breonna Taylor's address. Right. But public publicly, that very same postmaster general has said that's not true, and that that was not the findings of their investigation. There wasn't right. a, an investigation and tracking of packages there, but nothing led to them flagging her address. Um, right. Them a lot being of the, the postmaster. So so this is just, you know, the cops you know, wanting wanting to do shit. Just wanting to bust heads, put a nigga's head through a plate glass, you know what I'm saying? Like that that's all this was. And then, you know, they get they get uh, you know, soldier happy and wanna go bust down doors and right. shoot up. Uh, and, shit. Uh, you know what? They said that there's officers that actually brag about, yeah, I'm gonna shoot something tonight. You got to think about that. So when they get the opportunity or they think they got the opportunity to bust on somebody, that's what the fuck they do. We're living in a fucking society that is just absolutely tilted upside down with fucking racist and, and racist and idiots and whatever the fuck. And that's what it was, was a combination of people trying to hide the fucking truth and, and ignore. And there's black people, too, because the motherfucker that actually put this information out there initially is somebody black, even though, you know, I, he's questionable. So I, I just feel like right now, Pedro, the way this shit is going, we're going to have to triple check motherfuckers now. We're going to have to, even when the Supreme Court says something, we're going to have to actually revisit it. Because they, if they didn't revisit this shit with Breonna Taylor, I don't think it would have got this far. It would have been like, no, okay, no. well, they're justified. That's it. She's dead. Fuck it. That's how they treat on. us. So I think Next that we got to start really holding their feet to the fire. And social media is the way of be doing it. So we got a we got a minute on 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 this feed. We got a minute left, uh, and uh, it, the clock is running, guys. So, um, so he, here's the thing. Um, we got to stay abreast of what's going on with Breonna Taylor, this case. But uh, Kane Garlene said she she served on a grand jury before, and that uh, he's in trouble. I assume you mean uh, Daniel Cameron. But I I, I get Cameron's uh, whole you know spiel about under Kentucky law. And, and that's the sort of verbiage that they're always gonna use. But at some point, you gotta look at the, the, the process itself and the acquisition, like Mel B said, of, of the warrant itself, because I, right. you know- Which caused me everything, yeah, caused all the dominoes to fall. Yeah, if Brianna's yeah. law is gonna ban no knocks, uh, then, you know, you gotta look at the no knock that, that killed her, that caused Brianna's law to come into effect. Uh, that being said, we got like 15 seconds, dog. Savage AF. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, 6 p.m. to 6 7 p.m. Yeah. And then Thursday, we might change it because the debate is that yeah. night so we'll probably at the exact same time. All right.